have some big news here regarding Attorney General Jeff Sessions and his anti-drug obsession. This is from Vice News. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has made no secret of his desire to revitalize the U.S. war on drugs, and new reports indicate that he intends to begin by reinstituting harsher sentences for low-level drug offenders, or it says low-level offenders. Uh, Sessions is considering reversing Obama-era guidelines that directed federal prosecutors to avoid charging low-level drug offenders with crimes that carry harsh mandatory minimum sentences, U.S. officials told the Washington Post. These sentencing laws have led the United States to have the highest rate of incarceration in the world, and bringing them back would mark Sessions' first concrete move in his promised crackdown on drugs. In 2013, then-Attorney General Eric Holder Jr. sent a memo to federal prosecutors instructing them not to charge defendants with sentences that would trigger mandatory minimum sentences unless they were violent, were leaders in drug organizations, or met similar qualifications. That may soon change. Sessions is reportedly considering instructing prosecutors to bring the harshest possible charges against all levels of drug offenders. Sessions is also reportedly considering reviving the widespread use of charging offenders with enhancements, which can further lengthen sentences for certain defendants who have already been convicted of felony drug crimes. Holder's memo also largely ended that practice. Sessions has long supported harsher sentencing. While still a senator, Sessions helped block a bill that would, that would have reformed some mandatory minimum sentencing laws. So the U.S., um is number one in prison population and how many people we jail. So, you know, when, you know, people on the right always say, we're number one, yeah. Well, yeah, there are a few things we're number one in. Obesity, <laughs> military spending, uh, percentage of the population that we jail. So that is not necessarily something that's good to be number one in now, is it? Are we saying that we're particularly more violent as a country than any other country? Or is it perhaps that our laws are preposterous? It's that. And uh, for the longest time, we've been locking people up for silly little minor uh, drug offenses. And, you know, this was the problem with Obama and holders that even though they, in some ways, they try to push in the right direction, it was just ever so slightly. And they didn't fundamentally change the structure of the system and change the most important laws. So marijuana is still a Schedule One drug. They could have changed that. They didn't. Uh, Obama did, to his credit, free many nonviolent drug offenders, uh, pardoned them, commuted their sentences. But now Jeff Sessions is getting in there and he's basically saying, yeah, you know how you didn't put an onus on nonviolent low-level drug offenders? Now we are. We're going to do that again. And think about how deeply unpopular this, unpopular this is with the American people. Because as of today, 60% of the American people want to legalize marijuana for recreational purposes, not just medical purposes. Medical is such a given, we don't even need to discuss it. But for recreational purposes, 60% of the country wants to legalize it. Well, now we have an attorney general who's saying, not only am I not going to do that, I'm going to uh, double down on harsh mandatory minimum sentences for low-level nonviolent drug offenders. To draw a, a parallel here, that's like having uh, alcohol prohibition and then having somebody come in who wants to double down on the punishments for low-level, nonviolent uh, alcohol crimes. Like, what? We caught you drinking a Corona. We caught you drinking a shot of Jack Daniels. What am I going to do? I got to lock you up and I got to give you a mandatory minimum of three years. What am I going to do? I, ca I caught you drinking it. I mean, that's a crime. What are you doing? For some reason, when it comes to marijuana, which is actually less dangerous, less bad for you than alcohol, the establishment's like, oh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go crack down, go, 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 go. Well, look, guys, it has a lot more to do with, number one, the DEA. The DEA is would do anything, and they are doing anything and everything to make sure drugs are illegal because their jobs rely on the drugs being illegal. So there's a debate in the country as to, hey, should we kind of like chop the FDA down like 80%? 
Uh, so they're doing everything they can, using all their power to make sure that doesn't happen. Then you have the alcohol industry, which views marijuana as their competition, views other drugs as their competition. So they're lobbying against the legalization. And we know they're doing it because whenever these things come up in various states to legalize it at the state level, you have alcohol companies rush in and fund the, the no campaign. You have big pharma. They do the same thing. Uh, you would think that maybe they want to, hey, let's get in on this and maybe we can make money from medical marijuana or whatever. No, they want to shut it down. They view medical marijuana or just recreational marijuana, other drugs as their competition. So big pharma, alcohol companies, tobacco companies, the DEA, these are all the groups, moneyed interests that are against marijuana being legalized. So they fund the efforts to, to put it down. And sometimes it works, guys. Even though 60% of Americans say legalize it for recreational purposes. Uh, but Jeff Sessions is totally disconnected from the American people. Remember, this is a guy who said, quite literally, good people don't smoke marijuana. You have like an old school, primitive, draconian, idiotic, moronic person who's now the top lawyer in the country. Many things are going to go wrong. They're already starting to go wrong. And what they want to do is ruin people's lives over low-level, nonviolent drug offenses, which in my mind are just not even a crime. That's not a crime. Low-level, it's like saying, I call you drinking a Monster Energy. I call you taking a Xanax. I call you whatever, drinking coffee. That's a drug. Caffeine's a drug. Well, you did marijuana. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to lock you up. How many lives have we ruined because of the drug war? And now the Attorney General wants to ruin a hell of a lot more.